Hey, good afternoon. Oh, <laughs> bit art puff there. Oops, here we go again. Never get the camera in the right place. Um, sorry, I've been missing, but I've not really had a lot to show you. I've not been very productive, really. <laughs> um, I finished one of my niece's cardigans, not even started the second one, and it was her birthday yesterday, so naughty Auntie Nettie. Right, the reason I'm called Nettie is I'm called Janet, and where I came from in Oldham, they used to call me Janet, and I hated it, absolutely hated it, which is why I shortened my name to Jan. And everybody that called me Janet, I used to say, I'm not a knit, I'm a net. So, of course, my two nieces adopted this and I've stayed Auntie Nettie ever since. Well, just Nettie, because I don't do the Auntie bit. Anyway, what have I been doing? Well, the cardigan I've been doing for ages, for my youngest niece, is I'm pretty pleased with it, except for the fact that the sleeves are absolutely really long. Now, I know that my niece has got long arms, but honestly, I mean, I did it to the pattern because I've got such short arms that I can't... Um, you know, sort of uh, judge other people's arms. And I know she's got long arms, but, you know, having said that, I think it's a bit long, long. I uh, don't know whether you can see the back of it, but it's all, ooh, <laughs> she won't turn around. That's the back of it anyway. She's all cabled. Well, when I say cabled, it's crochet cable, which is not quite the same thing. It's not been blocked properly, which is why it's sort of, poking a little bit in various places but anyway right back to me <laughs> well I nearly put my other but my other necklace on excuse me leaning my other necklace on today because it goes with what I'm wearing but I thought no I'd have a change and I'd wear one that somebody gave me a while ago um, sorry about the dog hair but I've got the little one with me but I do love this this was part of a bundle that I bought of necklaces on eBay for reasonably cheap. I think I paid about £10 plus the postage, but I got about seven or eight necklaces. Why somebody would want to part with that, I really do not know, because it is one of my favourite necklaces. I absolutely love it. <laughs> anyway, I didn't put it on today, as you can see, I've got this on. Uh, what I'm wearing today, I can't tell you what the pattern is because I've no, no idea. All I know was the stitch was called Leaf Hopper, and this cardigan must be at least 20 years old. And it was made with Serdar Wash and Wear, so that is a great tribute to Serdar Wash and Wear double knitting. It's a little small, but we won't go into that. But it absolutely washes, I mean, it's got a bit fluffed up now. But it absolutely washes and wears. It really do, it truly does. And they still make the wool. They may not make the pattern. But actually, this stitch pattern is in most of the stitch books that you find. It's called uh, the Leaf Hopper. So what I did was, actually, the cardigan pattern wasn't with this stitch. I adapted a very plain pattern for a cardigan and just put the Leaf Hopper stitch on it. So, which is what I want to do, which is why I aggravate everybody, because I don't have patterns. Right, what have I got today? Um, well, I did show you the pattern, didn't I, for... I think I've shown it about three times for the one I've just finished for this niece. So this will be the last time I'm going to show it to you. It was free on Ravelry. And it's... Um, it's called Cable Jackets by Treva McCain. T-R-E-V-A. Treva McCain. And uh, it was supposed to be done in Karen Simply Soft Medium. And I actually did mine in, um, I think it was some double knitting. It didn't have a label on it, but uh, Sue the Enabler gave it to me. We do this, we swap about with stuff that we like. I mean, where I think I might have got a bit of problems with the sleeves is, it did say that the sleeves were 21 and a half inches, which is very long, isn't it? But when I looked at the chart bit there, it says 17 and a half inches, but then it says two inches. Now, I think I must have done the 17 and a half and then the two inches as well. And it wasn't very clear as to whether it meant 17 and a half all, all in all, or whether it was 17 and a half plus the two for the rib. So I think it must have been 17 and a half all in all, but she's got it 19 and a half now. And she's got two inches of ribbon, but never mind it. Righty-ho. Oh, 
Uh, what have I been doing? Right, um, I went out last night for a meal, which was very, very nice. I joined a group of sort of, it was like neighbours that live all around me. Oh, sorry about my glasses. The readers don't really need them. Um, and they decided that we're all of a certain age. There's lots of ladies, of course, because unfortunately gentlemen tend to pop off earlier. And um, there was a couple of couples there as well. And we all went out for a meal because there's one lady there who you know, had moved up from London and she didn't know anyone. So this was kind of like a, a good um, idea for her to get to know some people. And um, she'd got family here, but obviously they work, you know. So during the daytime, because she's retired like myself, she didn't know anybody. I mean, I'm fortunate in the fact that I've lived here for 48 years. So I do actually know quite a few people to say hello to in the street. That doesn't mean to say I've got anybody that I really go out with, um, you know, for functions and that. Uh, because most of my friends work full time and they've got families, they've got commitments, they've got husbands, boyfriends, whatever. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not looking for a, a boyfriend or a man friend or anything like that. I'm just, it would be nice now and again to just have someone that you could go to the cinema with or the theatre with or something like that. But I'm working on that a bit. Right, what's arrived while since I've seen you last has been the inside crochet. Um, I think you can still get it in America, but this is an English pattern book. This is where I need the windows again. Um, once again, I won't go on about the photos because you know my feelings, but... <laughs> yes. Anyway, what's in this one? We've got all the usual bump about the interesting articles that you read, telling you about different walls that are on the market at the moment. Um, what books are around at the minute. I'll come to what books are around at the minute because I've got a new book. I know I'm a bit broke but I'd actually pre-ordered this ages ago and it arrived this week. Uh, the first one is a beaded flower brooch cover up with hands. It's um, a pretty little flower. I mean I wouldn't make it as a brooch but I would make it as um, a trimming you know for something because you know me I love my flowers on things. And that's a garland that you're meant to make, well, they say for a wedding, but it would do for any other occasion, wouldn't it? You know, you can put whatever initials, I suppose, what you feel like on the actual banner. Um, now, these you'll have to really squint your eyes for. They're earrings and they're in the shape of a little mushroom or a toadstool or whatever it is. I think it might be a toadstool because it's red, even though it does say it's a mushroom. Then there's... I had one of these actually in Macrame years ago where you hang a potted plant up, you know, from the ceiling. I had one in the bathroom with a spider plant on it uh, for years and years until the poor little thing died on me eventually. But I did have it for years, yeah. That's a kind of a, I don't know whether it's a shawl or a poncho, but it's got buttons up it, so I'll probably get to the descriptions a bit further on. Um... Now it says ice cream coasters, I presume it's because of the colouring, but the drinks coasters anyway. And this one's a scarf, more of a summery scarf because it's open work. And they've done it in a pastel colour, so it's meant to fool us, it's a spring one. Um, that's a, a dress or an overdress and the bag underneath. Now this is one that will never grace my wardrobe and if anybody asked me to make anything like this you would see me running screaming into the sunset because I do not do circles. <laughs> well I do circles but I don't jot them together like that. That is a nightmare. Nightmare. Never in a million years yeah. Um, this is just a little article about um, Rihanna, Rihanna Drinkwater talking about her space. You know she's got this craft space and that which is what I would love to have, as you know. If I had money and I had a big garden, I'd love like one of those summer housey places, you know, out the back. This one's called Chasing Rainbows, this one. It's, there's a better photograph further on. It's a cardigan. Well, a short sleeve cardigan. Um, I think there's better photographs of these. There's actually chickens um, joined together. And that one's a... Uh, baby shawl I presume in circles and that one is actually 
<laughs> don't get me started. <coughs> a pattern for the um, coat hangers. <laughs> very nice dress and a very nice handbag, but quite what they have to do with a coat hanger. Well, I suppose you hang a dress on a coat hanger, don't you? Then we have a cushion. And a rabbit and a floor cushion. Now that would be rather cute if you had a little boy. It's sort of like a superhero costume. Don't know quite who he's meant to be. Is it Ninja Turtle or what is it? No, it just says superhero costume. I think it's actually from a book that, you know, where there's lots of superhero costumes, but I might be mistaken. And that's a... I think it's a child's cardigan. Child's sweater, sorry. I mean, the superhero thing, theme would be nice for, you know, children to dress up with, put them in the dress up box. Yeah, that's your Mr. and Mrs. It's done in like a cross stitch afterwards, so you could cross stitch anything you wanted, couldn't you? The Ambassador's show, uh, scarf. That's the one we showed you before. Yeah, the posy pot holders, uh, inspired by candle jar holders. I mean, I think actually I would probably make them as candle jar holders. You know, when you buy those cheaper candles from the supermarket or the dollar store or whatever you want to call them, you want to hide them a bit, yeah. Now that's pretty, but of course it's an advert for a pattern. It's not actually in the book. But that reminds me of something that uh, Bob Wilson123 is doing at the moment. She's doing a, a crochet along, I think it's for a rug. Oh, here's the dog starting to bark. That's the one that's got buttons on it. I think you can button it up in different ways to make it look different. Or just leave it without the buttons as a stove. Um, Bonnie Bunny. I was just thinking it looked a bit naked, but it says in the next issue they're going to book clothes, so that'll be nice. We do not want naked bunnies knocking about, even though it is Easter. Um, garden party dress. Now that I would probably make and wear, you know, as I wear those long dresses that are pretty sort of stylish and that they're just long. I might wear something like that over the top of it, you know. Because I definitely wouldn't wear it on its own. It's a bit too holy holy. I know it's Easter, but it's not that kind of holy, yeah. That's the Rosaline purse. Then it looks quite open work, so I'd imagine you'd have to either line it or... Um, oh no, hang on a minute. No, it's not Oli Oli. It's um, two colours. The green and the cream together. I thought it was holy green, you know, and the bit showing out through. But I do still think you need to line handbags or bags or purses or whatever you want to call them. That's the Adeline or Adeline cardigan. I like the stitch, it's a nice close together stitch. I'm not sure if I would put so many colours on it or if I did I'd choose more subtle colours I think rather than contrasts. I'd do, you know, shades of a theme or something like that. I know I like bright colours yeah. but... The shawl is called Twirling Pinwheels. The reason you keep hearing barking is um, I'm waiting for the dog groomer to come so if it goes frantic at any moment, it'll be her. That's a snooze pet bed, which we know use for our Buster with his problems, as you know. You know. That must be one side and the stripes the other side. When you have a little incontinent dog, it's um, you go for washable. Oh, he loves that big bed that I bought the other week. That's the little chicken. I think they're just decoration. I don't think they've got... Yeah, hook these cute hens for quick and cheery house decoration. And that's the smocked cushion. It's got a plain, plain stripy back. And that's what the advert was for with all the, um, the dress and the handbag and everything. It was actually for springtime hangers. They're actually good, not for um, decoration-wise, but if you've got a dress that keeps sliding off the hanger, you know, they do 
um, help to grip, you know, the shoulder straps to help to grip with your summer dresses. That's a f the flower mosaic shawl, which you will never, ever, ever see me make. <laughs> the thought of joining flowers together like that just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Tried it. No. At my time of life, I do not do things anymore that cause me stress. And joining circles together just gets me wound up to the top. Stress. No, stress. That's your ice cream doilies or whatever they are. Mats, I think, for... Um, drinks coasters yeah the superhero part i thought i'd read it somewhere for the, for the it's taken from a book by emma friedlander collins and it's a super pattern superhero pattern there must be di different ones um it said they can be crime fighting superheroes while they're wearing the pajamas <laughs> or a t-shirt and tracksuit um it says underpants over the top are optional <laughs> But it's a, it's a book called Crochet Dress Up by Emma Friedlander Collins. So if you want to dress up your children or your grandchildren. It's nice to have a dress up box. I used to love to dress up when I was little. I never had a dress up box though. I just used to have to pinch my mother's clothes or whatever. And I used to love it because, I mean, when I was younger, I didn't know anything about wildlife and you shouldn't kill wildlife and stuff like that. And I actually used to love, one of my aunts had a real fox that she used to hang around her neck. It had a little head and little paws and everything. And it was a real fox. I mean, now I wouldn't want a real animal near me. But um, then, of course, when I was a, ch a child, I didn't know. So I used to love wearing this fox. That's a child sweater. I mean, I do love fur, don't get me wrong, but I like it on an animal if it's real. I mean, there's so many nice ones made out of man-made fibres that I don't see any reason why you need to use the actual fur of an actual animal, you know. I mean, I sort of went off Angora when I found out what they were doing to the rabbits, you know, but... It's just one of those things, isn't it? I don't mind fur or stuff that comes from an animal that's been combed out or cut out, but I wouldn't like to think I was part of anything to do with anybody pulling the fur out of an animal. That is absolutely disgusting. And I had no idea when I bought Angora in the past that that's what happened. So I won't be buying it in the future. Yeah. That's just a little article about Sue Blacker of Blackish Yarns Natural Fibre, talking about sheep. <laughs> it's as good as any topic to talk about sheep, isn't it? Well, my niece is coming this afternoon, um, so I'm going to try and narrow her down. I mean, I was supposed to be doing that red cardigan, the red cardigan that's just been haunting me. Because <laughs> I just couldn't get on with the pattern at all. And as I say, at this time of life, it just doesn't do me any good, you know, having stress when I go in with the pattern. So she said it doesn't matter, she'll choose something different. So I'm waiting for her to come this afternoon and um, let her see. Anyway, I can't show you the front room. I can't show you the, the dreaded uh, unit that <laughs> fell on me. I don't know what happened. I was happy, I'd screwed it all together and I was just moving it to put it where I wanted it to go. And one minute I'm holding the unit and the next minute I'm seeing stars because I'd fallen straight over backwards because I've got no balance backwards. Hit my head on the <laughs> corner, you know, your room, where your room goes into a corner. Banged my elbow, cut my finger. And I don't know what happened. I don't think I tripped over anything. I don't know what I did. And I was just lay there going, oh. Because when I fall on the floor, I can't get up. I'm like a tortoise turtle on its back. Can't get up. So I sat there and the dogs are out looking at me as they say, what on earth are you doing on the floor, you know? And so I'm trying to shuffle over to my chair, you know, and eventually I managed to pull myself up on the chair. So I thought, what on earth? So that put a, a damper on me, doing anything really. I mean, I didn't get many bruises or whatever, because being a fat lash, you know, you don't bruise so easily, do you? And, um, but it just kind of knocked the wind out of my sails a little bit. What I have been doing, what I can show you, is doing a bit of tidying in here, yeah? Uh, excuse me. I have been tidying up 
a little bit as you can see it's still not tidy did you see at the top yet but I've been putting my books in order these with all the writing on them they're all my single patterns and at the bottom you've got the magazines there's more single patterns there more books I think I've got more crochet books than Amazon has um, that's got some crochet hooks, more books. That's the hand, really, by the way. It's uh, like I'm oddly sleeveless gloves on my sleeveless gloves. <laughs> How can you have sleeveless gloves? You know what I mean, arm warmers, yeah. And that's all the books at the top. In these little boxes at the top, I've got various things. I've got brooches in one. Those are all my machine knitted books, these and those. Those are the wigs for Paris, by the way, those weird things in a box. Whoops, a daisy. Then you come down a bit more. These are all the, um, you know, those crochet a day things that you get. Then I've got the uh, tissue paper that I use for wrapping things up. The feathers and the flowers. And at the bottom I've got the postage bags and my swift. And then you've got still to be sorted out. Whoa, where am I going? There's all my stuff's in, um, you know, my crochet finished articles. And I've still got some things hanging on my hanger in there. But please don't look at the rest of the room because it's a mess. <laughs> but I could never go and show you all of my crochet books. I'll just tantalise you. Because, you know, I've got too many to ever go through. Some of them I've had for absolute years. Some of them are new. And, I mean, the crochet magazines, I've got a pile of them there. And there's even more down at the very, very bottom that as you can see are quite old but these are all single leaflets that I put into these and these are not just the ones I've got I've got some more behind Paris actually so you can see them all all behind there so you see it's not just um, wool <laughs> yarn as I collect yeah these are my sewing machines behind the lady with the head Sew machine, a uh, hand sewing machine, and a treadle sewing machine. Um, so that's what I've got when I do get round to doing nice sewing. Anyway, that's my little woo. <laughs> whoops. It's my little trip around the room I've done. Well, what I didn't show you was the other bit. Whoa, -wee. that's the chunky knitting machine, and that's the ordinary knitting machine. That's one of my child's mannequins I've had to put the, the curtain up there because for some reason I've got a patch of damp I think the uh, gutter's leaking at the top that's outside my garden that's the church showing got the patio door open a little bit you can probably hear a dog barking in the distance anyway that's it for today I'm hoping to see Sue at some stage she's been on a holiday well a holiday she's been up to Scotland so I didn't say where she was going because you never know, do you? you don't like to put on people who've gone away when they're away. <laughs> I'd rather put on when they come back, you know. Um, I had a phone call from my son. He's coming to visit in August, so I need to get this house cleared up before then. Knit like the wind. Still haven't done the Etsy photos. Please just feel free to give me a poke with a sharp pointy stick because I do need to put them on. My Etsy page has gone boring and stale because I haven't put anything new on it. And I've got lots of new things to put on it. Hence the bags, as you can see, with my grocery in them. I mean, I had Janico taking all those photographs and I haven't used any of them yet. But I want to concentrate on just getting tidy, which is hard because I do 10 minutes. I'll have to have a drink in a minute. I do 10 minutes. Thanks, Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl sent me this ages ago and I use it all the time. And I, um, what was I saying then? I need to put some stuff on Etsy because I need to do it. I've got loads of stuff, it's just me being lazy, me being lazy. The black, the gorgeous black shawl still hasn't arrived in America. It's stuck somewhere in the uh, John Kennedy airport or somewhere. Don't know why, don't know what. And he also sent me a parcel back and that's stuck in customs somewhere which we can't sort out because of course now it's over Easter and everywhere's closed. 
So I've got my fingers crossed that that show turns up because I'll be heartbroken. And so will he. But I will be heartbroken if it goes missing. <sighs> I mean, the, you get the money back, but what's the money compared with the time and the effort and, that you've put into it, really? I much prefer to, you know, the show to be delivered. It's not about the money, is it? It's about what you've done and you've crafted and you've made, yeah. Um, well, I'm longing to put some new things on my um, Etsy shop, as I've said before. I've been watching um, a young lady, she's on Facebook. She's called Jen, I think you pronounce it Cherry, although it's it's written uh, X-E-R-R-I. And she does these fabulous um, arts and crafts sort of shows all over, well, not all over America, but all over near her part of America. And she does some fabulous, she doesn't do patterns or anything like that, she does some fabulous ideas. And every time I see what she's doing, I think, oh, ding, ding, that's a nice idea, I like that. I mean, I won't copy it straight. No, I don't like to copy things straight, but something similar I'd like to do. She's doing these very, very open, um, sort of vesty top, th you know, that you wear over a top like this. And um, they look so fabulous. I'm thinking, hmm, sure, I've got some patterns similar to that way back in my archives, you know, from when they were sort of popular in the 60s. Sure, I've got something that I could adapt to do that. So I'm raring to go, really, for I'm stuck because I need to do the red cardigan. And I also need to do Nancy's cardigan, which I promised. Uh, that's an order, a blue cardigan. The wool's arrived and I haven't started that yet. So in other words, I should get off here, get off Facebook and get some blooming crocheting done. So I hope you're having a nice Easter. Um, and bye everybody. Bye everybody. Oh, and thanks Thomas for making me laugh with your April Fools. How do you watch a banana?